to No Recipe Required. I'm Dave, and uh, tonight we're going to talk meatloaf. Now, um, you know, meatloaf is uh, kind of the epitome of the technique, right? It's not really a recipe. There's 500 different meatloaf recipes out there. What I'm going to show you tonight is a, uh, a version of my Italian meatloaf. We're going to do it with a, a tomato sauce, obviously, the ingredients. We'll throw some basil, some parsley, kind of whatever I have in the fridge. We'll figure it out. It's going to be absolutely awesome. Let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so we're gonna start our Italian meatloaf on the uh, top of the stove with a sauteed onion and red bell pepper and a few garlic cloves. I'm just gonna cook these down until they are um, kind of nice and soft, tender, onions are translucent. So, while our onions and bell pepper saute, we can go ahead and add the rest of our ingredients to our meat. I'm using half ground pork, half um, ground beef. You know, you can throw veal in there. You can even do this with other meats as well. Um, no problem at all. Just remember, each has a slightly different flavor profile. So normally I add um, breadcrumbs, you know, about a cup. I'm going to kind of cut the breadcrumbs, do kind of half and half. Breadcrumb Parmesan cheese, since we're making uh, Italian meatloaf. I'm going to do about that much, however much that is, um, of oregano. About a tablespoon, tablespoon and a half of chopped parsley, tablespoon, two tablespoons of basil. I'm gonna add some salt and some, quite a bit of ground black pepper. There are two eggs in there. And then once my onion and um, bell pepper saute down, I'm gonna let those cool. I'm gonna add them to the, uh, to the mix here and then just by hand, mix everything together. Okay, so I took my um, onion and bell pepper off the flame, just let it cool down for 10 minutes or so. It doesn't have to be, you know, ice cold or anything like that. It just needs to be cold enough to where it doesn't like cook the meat or scramble the eggs or anything like that. And then uh, you gotta mix your meatloaf. I find the best way to do that is just the old fashioned way. Get in there with your hands and um, get it to a nice homogeneous consistency all the way throughout and then um, before we're going to make it and um, and roast it off just take a little tiny bit cook it off and give it a taste and that will tell you if you have enough salt in there enough pepper in there and if not you can always add a little bit more and um, remix okay so once you get your tester tasted and um, you're good to go I uh, I'm actually going to split my meat in half and make two meatloaves actually one I'm going to freeze um, the other one you just take your uh, your meat, pull it off the pan, out of the pan there, and then um, I don't like to um, use a meatloaf pan. I like to just go kind of go freeform method. So you want to shape your um, shape your meatloaf into kind of the football with flat ends shape. I lay it on a, a cooking sheet or baking sheet that I line with um, tin foil just to make the cleanup a little bit easier. And then um, we're good to go. I'm going to pop this into a 380 to 400 degree oven. Anywhere around there is fine until um, the internal temperature gets to uh, about 150. Okay, so after about an hour, meatloaf reaches about 150 degrees. you got to bring it up to at least that temperature. It's going to stay nice and joy juicy. Uh, pull it out of the oven, let it rest for a good 5, 7, 8 minutes, and then um, we'll okay, slice it up and so serve it. Okay, so we've got our meatloaf nicely rested. You want, ooh, you want to cut off a couple nice slices and then because we're doing Italian meatloaf I've got a little marinara sauce and I just actually added any uh, you know any drippings that come out of the um, out of the meatloaf as it cooks just add it to your marinara and that will be quite lovely I'm going to lay our meatloaf down and there you've got the perfect Italian meatloaf I'll see you next time on No Recipe Required. Mm -hmm.